Our next comedian is the reason tonight was possible. Please make some noise for the first man to ever perform on the moon, Lucas Peter Chicago. <laughs> Hey everybody, that would be so cool I could moonwalk right after that, but I am clumsy, so you guys are going to have to deal with this. You are beautiful! Hey, what's your name? Priscilla Queen Lizard, everybody. Everybody, give her a round of applause. Great rack, great rack, beautiful. So Priscilla, what do you do for work? Other than to be gorgeous. She's a gynecologist, everybody. Give her a round of applause. That's a disgusting job. Great job, Priscilla. Priscilla, I'm not bragging, but I am really good at sex. Like, really good. Like, every time I have sex, I come. <laughs> Thanks! You see her shaving like the Fonzie up. Hey! Oh! I was having sex the other night. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. I'm on top of this girl. All of a sudden, she goes, oh my god, this feels so good. I had to shove her off of me because I couldn't stand being with someone who's that dishonest. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I was texting and driving the other day. Somebody saw me. They rolled down their window. They're like, hey, you should be driving and texting. And I was like, well, I also shouldn't be drunk. <laughs> I got so drunk the other day, I thought I hit a manatee. Like a full of manatee. Like, ah! It's alright though, Donna. It just turned out to be one of those mailboxes. I still don't know how I got the boat there. Cause I got a problem! Anyways. Guess what I just found out? There are alcoholic monkeys, everybody. Alcoholic monkeys! I guess I'm not the only one who has a problem and has AIDS. <laughs> Man, the other day my car broke down. I'm really bad at spelling, bad at arithmetic. I called AAA instead of A. Oh, I just fucked that joke up. Fuck! It doesn't matter. Next joke. I'm not redoing it. I'm not doing it. I'm doing the next joke right after that. I think it's really messed up that AA has a 24 hour hotline. Like a prevention hotline. I think if there's a 24 hour prevention hotline, there should be a 24 hour encouragement line. Where you're like four drinks in and you're like, I'm gonna cut it early tonight. And you call it in and they're just all like, pussy. <laughs> I got two words for you. Yenga bombs. You're a faggot. Anyways. Yeah. Thanks. My girlfriend, she just changed her hair color from dark brown to blonde. And she was really worried that people weren't gonna take her seriously. And I was like, baby, it doesn't matter whatever your hair color is, you're always gonna be black. <laughs> I'm used most comics like most comics just like clapping applause. I need it. So when I tell a joke, I need that applause and that laughter and that energy. Oh, it feels good! You see how it feels? Comics, I'm killing! I'm killing! I didn't ask for this. This is the clip that's going on YouTube. Anyways, it's like, oh the fuckers are gonna love me now. Anyways. <laughs> I can't wait till they legalize drugs on those commercials like fuck Pepsi, shoot Coke. <laughs> Stop parenting, start heroin. Smoke crack, you have a problem. Just smoke it already, all right? All right, next joke. I'm doing good, right, Priscilla? Thank you, yeah. Oh, it feels good. Nah, 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 nah. Just like the other night. Hey, what's up? I got so drunk the other night. I was hitting on this girl, I'm all like, hey baby, I'm a magician, right? Because that's what I think women are into, right? I wake up the next morning, I realize I am a magician because she turned into a 250 pound Guatemalan man. And he was like, ay, 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 and I was like, Henry, not again. Shit. Taking advantage of little Lucas. Anyways. I was raised by lesbians in the middle of Wyoming. Yep. <laughs> it's absolutely my true story. It was so embarrassing when I was younger when my mom would take me into the women's bathroom to pee. But it was even more embarrassing when my other mom would take me into the men's. <laughs> I usually get applause breaks and standing ovations. Yeah. It's okay. It's okay. I'm not mad. I'm not mad. Anyways. This is the best day of my life. <laughs> this is like losing my virginity times 20. Dadas, come dadas. 
Five, six, one. Eight, six, oh. You remember Mike Jones? Who? Mike Jones! Yeah! He was ridiculous. I know what was even more ridiculous? I used to do hip hop. My, my MC name was Moose Beaver King. Good. Yeah. Cause your leader showed up back when you hear the beaver clap. Which was a song I wrote about an obese woman walking towards me, and I could hear her vagina clapping, and I would just go, Whoa! You, you lean your back when you hear that smell. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yo, I did so much coke, I wound up, up in the hospital. Woke up the next morning and said, Hey, where my nostrils go? You can call me a leprechaun, cause I got lots of pots to go. That's what happens when you smoke as much crack rock as I sold. <laughs> Priscilla, you can suck my dick like it's a popsicle. Yeah, I know it's not a mouthful. I'm very small and proportionate for my height and weight. <laughs> I used to work 80 hours a week at Steak and Shake. 80 hours a week, everybody. That is a long time. And I finally got one day off. And so I thought, like any normal person, I drank nine bottles of Robitussin. Because I thought to myself, if this doesn't kill me, I'm going to do so much brain damage, I'm not going to be the same person anymore. So, hello. Anyways, I don't die, I don't die but I start hallucinating. But I don't hallucinate anything cool like what you see in cartoons and movies, like rainbows and dinosaurs, and look, I'm walking in clouds. No, what I hallucinated was I was back at Steak and Shake. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys so much, you have a great show.